Shh, quiet luxury. In recent years, a new trend has emerged in the fashion world who value quality and elegance over flashy logos and trendy items. This trend is known as the quiet luxury movement. And it's all about toning down your fashion choices to focus on understated, timeless pieces that convey wealth and sophistication without being too showy. In today's world, the term luxury has been really, really overused. And it's been used to describe so many different products from cars to vacations and even to mattresses and cosmetics as well as luxury fashion as well causing a widespread use to clash with the exclusivity it aims to convey in the fashion industry governed by the hierarchy of brands is retained a relatively stable definition of luxury this is how luxury brands are ranked from low level to ultra luxury the pyramid is split into three main parts accessible luxury and supreme and the higher you go up the more expensive they get the top of the pyramid is supreme luxury and contains only three brands Hermes, Chanel and one you've probably never heard of Delvo. Although the styles have changed over the years as we are in 2023 what makes luxury quiet luxury? It's pretty difficult defining what luxury is in today's really really fast changing environment and the world that we live in today but whether we're talking about luxury watches, cars, fashion, shoes, bags, having a distinguished feature or something that makes them unique that is the make or break point to differentiate the item as a luxury compared to non-luxury items. And with the rise of logo mania outfits in the last 10 years, for example the flashing Chanel logos, the heavy LV monograms and the Gucci Marmont embellishments, the frequency of it all has just been so overwhelmingly common and the tick TikTokers end up making videos like only poor people buy LV and Gucci to make them look rich. Which I have a video on and I will link it up here. And as the luxury brands at the top of the pyramid are continuously working to improve their brand image and also their product development and their exclusivity, they're really trying to make their brand and also their customer base maintain their excellence and prestige. Which really embraces the if you know, you know fashion pieces. Affluent and high society women have been embracing this quiet luxury trend for years and it's only recently gained popularity in the mainstream fashion world. Affluent individuals often opt for a quiet luxury fashion style because it conveys a sense of understated elegance and refinement. Quiet luxury fashion is often associated with a more refined and sophisticated lifestyle which may also be appealing to affluent individuals seeking to maintain a certain level of privacy and exclusivity in their personal lives by opting for a more understated and refined fashion style they can signal their sophistication and taste without drawing unwanted attention in my wardrobe i don't think i'm necessarily the quiet luxury aesthetic that i think everybody is seeing today i think i like to be more on the loud and colorful side i mean i have this like monkey skirt going on even though i guess i'm a bit more of the quiet luxury colors of today as quiet as i can be today but i tend to have a brighter color palette and even my chanel classic flaps they are like a bright fuchsia pink but there are ways of having bright colors and maintaining elegance at the same time and i think in my eyes i think anna Bay does it the best when it comes to really nice bright pops of color and being really elegant in style another reason why affluent people may choose quiet luxury as a fashion choice because there's a lot of crime out there and they really don't want to draw unnecessary attention to them because if they are wearing a very flashy logo then they don't want to be a target for any of these crimes and there's so many pickpocketers out there and I noticed that when I go to central London especially in today's climate people are struggling and that's when crime rates have gone up and I've been hearing so many more crime rates of pickpockets and mugging and I don't want to be a part of that and let alone if you are very affluent you have more to steal you don't want to draw that unnecessary attention but then when you bring social media into the picture many have begun sharing the brands of if you know you know and there's so many brands out there they've literally been unleashed on the face of TikTok and now that if you know you know fashion statements have been publicized to the level that it already has it's now become just publicly 
No. And that brings me on to my next point about quiet luxury, which is actually about the mindset is to invest in quality pieces as really good quality basics. Quiet luxury fashion is often associated with choosing timeless pieces that are long lasting, expertly crafted and of high quality. Their fashion style emphasizes understated elegance and sophistication rather than flashy displays of wealth. The focus is on subtle details, impeccable tailoring and premium materials that are carefully selected for durability and longevity. By choosing timeless pieces that are made to last, individuals can create a wardrobe that transcends current trends and fads, instead emphasizing a sense of classic and enduring style. These pieces often become wardrobe staples that can be worn for years to come, making them a smart and sustainable investment in the long term. The concept of quiet luxury hasn't been limited to just in the high-end luxury world, but it's actually made its way into fast fashion too. Which brings me on to my next topic, or is quiet luxury just another aesthetic trend? Retailers such as Zara and H&M have started incorporating subtle and sophisticated design elements to their collections, using premium materials and expert craftsmanships to create pieces that are more enduring and higher quality than traditional fast fashion items. The shift towards quiet luxury and more quality pieces in the fast fashion world have been pushed by more conscious spending, more sustainability, and and trying to reduce as much landfill as possible. That's where it's being built upon. And more and more consumers want to have that more ethical and sustainable fashion choices, but at the same time, make it accessible to them that they can afford that piece of clothing. So when it comes to fast fashion brands such as H&M, Zara or Uniqlo, these brands are really trying to make it accessible to have sustainable clothing, but at an affordable price for more accessibility to be able to have that conscious spending in mind. I've always known that with fast fashion, there's always been that inferior quality compared to the high-end brands out there. And the items that I made, they tend to be shown as really, really easy to break and they really don't last that long. I like think of those sheen whores that a lot of TikTokers do. But then when it comes to the reality of having these fast fashion items, I actually think they are okay. I don't think that they are a wear it once or twice and then it will be something that you would touch and chuck. I personally have been wearing fast fashion as just part of my normal lifestyle and it's something that I always look out for when I go shopping whether it is in Zara or H&M or Uniqlo. A lot of the items that I wear they tend to be fast fashion but I do look for those more quality items within that area and when it comes to how long lasting these items can actually be I've been wearing my items from the likes of H&M, even this skirt and this top from Uniqlo. I've been wearing these for about five years and beyond. And to be honest, they look as good as brand new and I don't think I have any issues with it and it hasn't looked like a complete vegetable of a piece of fabric that people describe it to be. So the focus on quality and craftsmanship in fast fashion reflects in the shift of consumer attitudes towards fashion. People are becoming increasingly interested in building a curated and timeless wardrobe rather than simply following the latest trends, regardless of their budget. And I'm really super glad that this mindset of choosing more quality items and having that conscious spending when it comes to buying fashion as a staple in the wardrobe. And no matter whether it is in fast fashion or in luxury, this conscious mind spending is a really good sustainable movement and it's really prevented a lot of items going into landfill straight away. And when you have a quality item there and it is timeless and that you can wear it through any trends and through any fad trends that are out there, you can mix and match these things and it's always going to be something that you can wear and it doesn't date at all. So just to conclude this topic, the quiet luxury trend is a movement in the fashion world that emphasizes on quality and elegance over flashy logos and trendy items and that these timeless pieces are longer lasting and less contribution to landfill is happening which is really really good. What do you think about quiet luxury? Is it a style that just screams old money or that it's already just something that old money is already doing or do you think that affluent wear this style to make them more exclusive or do you think it is a movement that is making people more conscious of their spending and buying more timeless and longer lasting pieces do let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed today's video then check out my next video on why you may be feeling ugly so click over here and i will see you there bye